BBLA 51, turn right, heading 183. A title that, yes, may have left you stumped, as they often do. In an interview with a crucial German newspaper, the current chief executive officer of Airbus spoke regarding the European aircraft manufacturer moving towards making its own engines. Engines that would be for hydrogen fueled planes, which have stolen the spotlight in the past year and a bit. In September of 2020, they revealed their zero emission concept aircraft named Zero E, with an ambition to have these enter into service sometime in and around 2035, 13 years away. Airbus sees this technology as achievable, and with the concepts they unveiled, a way they can move forward in the industry with different pathways to reach a point where hydrogen can be the primary source of power for aircraft flying in the sky. In a change of strategy, rather than have an outside company like Rolls-Royce generally Electric or Pratt and Whitney produced the engines. Airbus would make the engines themselves for these hydrogen aircraft. As to what type of engines would actually eventually be featured on these, definitely remains to be seen. And following thorough investigations and research, a decision will be made in the future. However, it's something they are no doubt currently exploring the options of. As we edge closer to the essential testing phases, more development, and eventually production stages of this hydrogen aircraft. The future is largely unknown, as I'm sure you are aware. Airbus is already exploring key ways to make this ambition a reality, even if it does mean taking risks. Sometimes in life, as you'll have heard many people say, you have to take a risk to achieve something you want. While this is a project for commercial passenger aircraft, we know that Airbus as a group has actually been drafting in various other areas of expertise, even going as far as to have the Airbus space and defense area sector be in the loop with development on the Zero E aircraft. This is thanks to their vast experience in the area. Many have labelled the 2035 dates set out by Airbus for this aircraft as ambitious. A lot of people don't see them being able to achieve this. Ultimately, when comparing jets of today, that is your 787s, even the up-and-coming 777X, the 737 MAX, A320neos, A330neos, and so on, both Airbus and Boeing both see these aircraft series I just named and more dominating for at least the next 30 years, until 2050. This is a year that's been a cutoff point for many companies and industries when it comes to improving CO2 emissions. It's a nice rounded out number, meaning we are halfway through the century. However, that doesn't therefore discourage the likes of Airbus to explore alternatives for the future. As Airbus looks to eventually roll out a replacement for its A320s, with many sources indicating this would be rolled out sometime in the 2030s, it's unclear if therefore these new A320s, whatever they may be called, will be powered by hydrogen Although it does seem unlikely in saying that, it's no doubt something Airbus would want to have ready if it was working to the highest standard, as this would be an aircraft that'd fly for the next 30 years. We're talking through to the 2060s. Feel old yet? Back to engines though, the Airbus CEO has made note that while no decision has been made on how these aircraft will be powered, we're likely too early on and they're still taking a look at key and crucial concepts. He can see currently electric motors being produced in-house as the way to power these types in the future. That though is always subject to change, it's only the early indications we're getting from the CEO. Of course, this would only be possible if Airbus eventually, after a study, believes it is the right option and it can be more accessible for the future, easier to acquire, easier to implement, and is efficient enough. But Airbus notes, like I mentioned many times in this video, and what is really important is they're only in the early stages of the study to best determine the future. As the years do progress, we'll likely find out a whole lot more about what they will be doing in the next 20 years. What are your thoughts on Airbus potentially looking to build engines in-house for its hydrogen aircraft? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.